Hey, what is going on my fellow gaming enthusiasts? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know about you guys, but I am so happy and so to be back with you. This is DM Dragon coming to you guys yet again with another video. And today, guys, uh, super, super excited. Today's video on something is finally going to be the long-awaited unboxing of the Loot Gaming Loot Box. That's right, guys, and so that, as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos and everything, that I was going to be doing a uh, Loot Gaming Box uh, unboxing for you guys. I am so sorry, and so that, that the video has taken so long to post up, but uh, due to unfortunate circumstances and everything with Loot Gaming, or I'm sorry, with Loot Crate, uh, they were unable, and so that, to get this to me on time, uh, so we had to wait a little while. But, never fear, we finally have it here, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and open this up. I'm super, super excited. I think if I remember right and everything, they said that this month's theme is supposed to be Hunt. Um, not too sure what that means, but, um, ooh, ooh, I see a t-shirt, guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing in here is a t-shirt. I don't know what kind of t-shirt is this. So I think in all of the loot crates and everything, you actually do get a t-shirt every month. Oh, snap. Okay, guys. So in the spirit of Hunt, um, apparently since it is loot gaming, apparently they do the loot crates based on uh, gaming themes uh, from certain games. With this month and everything, I think they said that it was supposed to be uh, Batman Arkham City, Dark Souls 3, Monster Hunter World, and Far Cry 5, I think? Um... So it looks like the first thing we've got in here is the Loot Gaming uh, t-shirt, which is of Dark Souls 3. As you guys can see, it does say Dark Souls 3 on the back. That is super cool, guys. And uh, the shirt feels really good, too. Man, they, yeah, that feels really, really good. This must be a really nice material. So we got a t-shirt, guys, off. If you guys and so that and everything uh, didn't see me in my Batman t-shirt and so that in my last video and so that, I'll make sure and so that to leave a link to that. Um, I'm all about gaming shirts and just like shirts with good designs in general. That's actually super cool. So the next thing I'm seeing is... What is this? Oh, it's a poster! It's a poster! Guys, this is actually awesome. Uh, as you guys have known and said that I actually have been looking for more stuff. This is the whole reason I bought this uh, and started doing this. Not only to give you guys a fresh video, but also to uh, give you able to get some stuff that I can display around the DMD den. Because like I said, guys, I want this place to be like, like really, really cool. And posters are actually one of the best ways to do it. This is a big poster too. If I can get it open. <laughs> Oh, it's a Far Cry 5 poster. It's a Far Cry 5 poster, guys. Do you see that? Look at that. So, I think I think that they try to do a, a poster and so that every month as well. Um, I know that on the back of it and so that it says all the stuff that comes in here. I'm not going to I'm trying to try not to show that to you guys because obviously I want it to be a surprise. We got a poster. So, we have a t-shirt, we have a poster. That's actually really cool. All right, looks like we've got uh, something else from Far Cry 5? Um, uh, what is this? It's got a zipper. Uh, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a pencil bag. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, it, you can hold stuff in it, I guess? Well, anyway, it is Far Cry 5 branded inside that, and if you guys inside that haven't played it, you probably should. I haven't played it myself, but I definitely plan to. Uh, so we got that for Far Cry 5. And then um, we have the loot gaming pin. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's like that. I think that uh, no matter what kind of loot crate you get, whether it's the normal, the gaming, the anime base, um, I think that they do a uh, a little commemorative pin uh, every month. It's a collectible pin. If I'm not mistaken, that looks like a bear trap, which the theme is hunt, so that actually makes perfect sense. Um, so that's actually really cool. I think what I want to do with these and everything is I want to get them and I want to get a really, really cool lanyard and I just want to like post them on so that way we can keep track inside of the loot crate openings every month. So that's super cool. Um, looks like, okay, so as I said, we do have something from Monster Hunter World. Uh, it says Jawblade Replica. Ooh, I wonder if that's what I think it is. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, yep, it is exactly what I thought it was. 
So it looks like they gave us a little um, weapon, little replica thing. Oh look, there's even a little stand in here. Wait, hold on, I gotta get the stand out. Yep, there's even a little stand that you can put it on. So you just, yeah, that is super cool. Not gonna lie. See, this is why I wanted this, so I can display things like this all over and make the DMD den just pop. This is actually really cool, though. I mean, obviously, I mean it's plastic. It's not, you know, like a, a good or a expensive material. It's not metal or anything, but um, it is super cool, though. I'm a huge fan of Monster Hunter World. Um, I, I played that game literally all the way through. So I'm just gonna set that right there. There. And then I think this is actually the last uh, item that we have in here. Hold on. This must be for Batman. We have a comic book. We have an Arkham City comic book. Now, I'm not going to lie. Arkham City was actually one of my all-time favorites in the entire Batman Arkham series. Um, so this is actually really cool. Um, if you guys, again, don't know, if you guys are first first time here never know uh, seen any of my videos I love geeking out on everything I love comic books I love uh, Marvel and DC I like DC more though and I actually don't have any DC comics so this is actually really cool um, and I mean just look at that artwork I mean that's pretty legit um, so that's a, that's actually really cool um, and I think yeah I think that's gonna be everything guys um, so this this actually was not bad. Um, I think that they said this was supposed to be like a $60 value. Um, and yeah, I'd say for the most part, and so that's probably it. I mean, the comic book is probably mm, 10 bucks. The replica is probably 8 The pen's probably 5 uh, You know, you probably got another 4 five, 4 or $5 there, $4 poster. And that t-shirt is definitely like 20 bucks. got to be. So they said that uh, overall you're supposed to get at least like I think fifty to sixty dollars worth of value, and it only costs you instead of thirty, yeah, thirty dollars a month and everything. So that's actually not bad, and it does give you some really good stuff and everything uh, if you're a fan instead of, of gaming. What I actually think I'm going to be doing is I think I'm also going to be doing for all my anime enthusiasts out there. I'm going to be doing loot anime as well um, because I noticed that I do have a lot of gaming related stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of anime related stuff. I do have a couple mangas and things like that, but I would really enjoy having like some t-shirts and posters, you know, just things like that. Um, but this was actually really cool. So just a little quick recap guys and so that before we go ahead and uh, end it for today, we do have the Arkham City comic book. Super cool. Um, I'm going to try to put this up real quick. We do have the, uh, the Jawblade replica. Uh, this is from Monster Hunter World if you guys and so that do not know. Uh, if you guys haven't played that, you definitely need to and everything. That game is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put that back in here real quick. Gotta get that in there. Come on. There we go. So, Jawblade replica from Monster Hunter World. That's really cool because I don't have anything Monster Hunter World related. We do have the loot gaming pen for this month, which is the Bear Trap. That actually looks really cool too. I'm really hoping instead of that in one of these loot crates, they're gonna send me a lanyard. I would really, really love to have a really cool gaming lanyard. Um, we do have the little like holder pouch from Far Cry 5. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, um, but honestly I'm sure I can find something for it. It does hold stuff after all. So that's super cool. Uh, we do have the Far Cry 5 poster. And I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys and so that what's on the back because I actually am kind of curious on what this bag was. Um, I'm sure it's, it's more than just a bag. So, um, yeah. just go ahead and put that up and so that for you guys. Um, so on the back of the poster, it does, you know, show you guys and so that everything that comes, um, you know, the t-shirt, the comic book, the pen, the thing from Monster Hunter, and then I think it says, it's, the bag is an exclusive Far Cry 5 drop kit, uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that means, and so that I haven't played Far Cry 5 yet, um, so maybe that's a, a sign instead of saying I definitely need to. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, for the most part, and so this is actually pretty good. Um, and again, and so like that, as you guys and so that can see, uh, on the very, very top and everything, it does say hunt. So that was supposed to be the, uh, the month's theme and so that for, uh, this specific loot crate. So I'm definitely, this is actually a really nice poster though, so I'm definitely probably going to, uh, post this up and so that in the DMD den somewhere. Um, because, I mean, why not? I mean, you have a poster, you may as well hook it up, right? 
And then, of course, last but not least, and so that to end the recap is the awesome Dark Souls 3 t-shirt. Again, guys, I love t-shirts. I don't have too many gaming-related t-shirts, so this is actually really cool. Um, I'm not going to lie, I also haven't played Dark Souls 3 yet. Um, it's actually the only game, I think, in the Soul series that I haven't played. Um, so I definitely, definitely need to uh, play that when I get a chance. I'm just going to fold this up kind of nicely and put it in there. And that's pretty much going to wrap up and so that this uh, Loot Gaming unboxing, guys. Um, so I'm not going to lie, uh, it was definitely worth the wait. This is definitely a really cool thing. Um, again, like I told you guys before, I am going to be doing this and so that every month for you guys. Just as a way and so that of kind to, you know, change up, you know, the, the content and everything that I do. Uh, you know, that way I'm, I'm not always doing gameplays or I'm not always doing, you know, gaming related uh, talks with you guys or things like that. Um, and also, again, to get some really nice stuff for the DMD Den, which, of course, is where I do my gaming, where I do my video editing and content and things of that sort, where I talk directly to you guys. So, once again, guys, I'm really hoping so that you enjoyed the video. If you did and everything, please, please give the video a like and everything. It won't hurt. Um, make sure and so that and everything that if you like, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I will leave a link and so that in the description down below uh, to uh, Loot Crate's website if you guys are interested and so that in picking up some of this loot gaming goodness. Because guys, they uh, they run different themes every month, and so you know you never really know what you're gonna get, and you could get something really cool. I believe on the poster it did say that uh. It is possible for a lucky winner instead to actually win a PS4 Pro bundle uh, along with the VR and everything else. So you never know, guys. And so that it may just be your lucky day. Um, and once again, I, uh, as I said before, for all my anime enthusiasts out there, I'm actually planning on doing loot anime as well. Um, if it's anything like this one, it's like that. I think it's definitely going to be super cool, um, and it's going to definitely add a lot of variety and so that to the DMD Den because I love the DMD Den. I love being in here. It's fantastic. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already, so that way you guys never miss out on any of my future content. This has been DM Drayden, and so that's signing off. Keep it real, guys, but most importantly, keep gaming. And hopefully I'll see you guys all in my next video.